if you're using non-lead wire, then maybe, but... <coughs> One thing I do do, I don't know if I said it last flies, when I'm wrapping the shell, I always try to kind of, not enough tension to stretch it, but just enough to keep it on top of the hook and wrap around the hook. You don't want it kind of off to one side as much as possible. Anyway. Fold it back over to give it a more You can always check if I just fold the floor and see how it folds. It's, uh, that stuff's good. Yeah. Um, well, when it's really tacky, when, when you're doing that kind of touch dubbing, with the stuff that's drier, it still sticks, but you can slide it. So you don't get a little difficult. I find when tying this in, you don't want to pull it too tight because then it'll start to roll off the, the top of the hook. It'll just give you issues while you're uh, trying to tie the rest of it in. And then again, really don't pull too hard. Just when you snip, it'll snap back and <laughs> pop out of the, the thread. Wraps. Ice jams on the sixth, yeah, it should be gone by now. Lots of 
lots of ice up there. Last time I was down at the lower end, the amount of guys walking out on the shelf ice was you know, unreal. Oh, well, and, and, and not just. Yeah. Yeah, that was a 12. Make them loose. And, and the Velcro is just a little better for the wire wraps. Dude, they're, they're like the green fly larvas are kind of similar tans and stuff. <laughs> no, it was it was that color. Rib and and wrap it forward. I'm not gonna. Tight wraps, they're not easy to look at, it's, but it's still close. And this stuff I like to try and cut angled if I can. Usually fishies, 16s, 18s, 20s. Um, from fishing it. I just do kind of two wraps and then pull as much as I can out. Obviously you don't want to pull too much out. You just want enough just to give it a bit of reflection. Or a bit of flash. That gives it that kind of, you know, a lot of guys like black for the guys. You know, guys have black hats and stuff, but as they pupate, they start to change. 
yes, it does. And that's why I always tie with the light base uh, thread, whether it be white or this kind of stuff. This I don't think changes color to water. You ever seen case kind of cactuses? Um. This will be like great right in the surface film, you know, dead drift like a dry flood. I don't know if you guys saw what it just kind of did there. I pushed my thread back into my fingers and pinched it. And the reason why I did that is when I pinch it, <laughs> my, my thumbnail pinches against the shank this way. So it stops the hair from rolling. You guys would have to do the opposite because you wrap it this way. It just helps uh, that not rolling off. Did him proud of me.
passe ici. I was gonna tie <coughs> legs in, I would have did it at the start. And the reason because this guy's kind of small. I'm just gonna do it kind of fuzzy. Sure. I can brush uh, some of this longer guard here, fibers of I didn't tie legs in for this one. Yeah, I was saying you know, what I do if I do like tie it for. But basically that's the fly.
and I really don't do much for a head on a 